Let's get to it. Okay, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa Fail back at it with some Destiny. So, tis OMS Day again. We're going to open up a bunch of packages. I'll make some suggestions. And, guys, man, I hope you guys bought this DIS 43 last week because this is my. All right, let's put it this way. I like this thing so much, I infused it up to 320. It's got a perfect balance, uh, hand laid stock, full auto, and I love this site right here that highlights enemy targets. Pretty damn good. Well, I use it nonstop in PvE, and I even use it in PvP sometimes. It's like a really hard hitting. Uh, zero recoil uh, Jade Rabbit type of uh, weapon, so I don't know. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do a full review on it, because I think it's pretty hard in PvP. Anyway, you all want to know about the auto rifle this week. Is it the Arminius? Am I going to say that right? The Arminius. Yeah, this is basically your arms day version of the Doctrine of Passing. If you've not gotten it in Trials, but have been killed by it many times, like I have, and I have one. Uh, do I have the one with counterbalance? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I do. I don't want to babble through it, but let's go and see. Now, if he doesn't have good rolls this week, remember, you can wait on this. Don't You don't have to pick one of these. You can wait till next week to see if he's got something better next week. Okay, so uh, we see both. I see focus fire on two of them. I, I, you don't want focus fire on this thing, okay? You want the, wow, 72 rounds. Jeez Louise. All right, so we got hot swap. We got uh, GB iron. We got LD watchdog. Uh, highlights dangerous, enemy, uh, dangerous enemies and guardians with, with charged supers. That's interesting there. All right, so we got hot swap. Focus fire, you don't want that. High caliber on right. Ditch this one, okay? You want max, you want that fire rate, okay? With 72 rounds, you will just melt people, okay? My doctrine of passing, I think it's like 66 or 54 or something like that. All right, here we go. We got crowd control, we got spray and play, and we got single point sling, and we got speed reload. We got brace frame, okay? That's not bad, you know what? Uh, brace frame. This is a pretty good roll, I think, actually. This is a pretty damn good roll. Uh, let's go look at the last one here. You know, that's another focus fire one. You do not want it. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and say get this first one right here, guys, because, look, max fire rate, he had brace frame to it. See, that's the thing with the, um, Doctrine of Passing, everyone wants the one with counterbalance. I got that one. Uh, the recoil is manageable when you try to get the stability up as high as you can. I think that's a pretty good roll, guys. I would go with this one. Uh, I like the iron sights. Oh, no, no, no. Well, it's kind of like an iron sight. Improves weapon handling. And SD thermal. Haka thermal imaging scope highlights all enemy targets. I like this one. That's the one I'm going to get, okay? And let me know what you guys think if you uh, if you guys buy it and use it in the Crucible. Right now, the Doctrine's hella annoying. Uh, I use it sometimes. I'm not very good with it, but it does melt people really quickly. All right, we got a hand cannon here. Anything I see good off the top of my head? Let's see. This one... Is that? Uh, I don't know. What am I comparing it to? All right, so sights. We got uh, Fast Draw IS. And we got Steady Hand IS. And we got Danger Close. Zen Moment. Speed Reload. Explosive Rounds. And Reinforced reinforced barrel all right not really feeling that one right there this next one here i do like spray and play uh relentless tracker so kills with this weapon grand enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time explosive rounds again speed reload and oil frame uh i'm not really feeling any of these right now i get surrounded uh spray and play Explosive rounds. You know, I'm gonna let you guys choose in the comment section. I have not used legendary hand cannons in ages. The only hand cannon I use right now is a freaking last word because it's it's not over. I was about to say overpowered. It's not overpowered. It's basically the only thing that works for me in PvP when it comes to hand cannons. All right, I'm not gonna try to pronounce this. So the two. To Anella SR4. Ooh, okay. I see some pretty good perks in this. All right. This is a high rate of fire. Okay, same archetype, whatever you want to call it, to the Soros DIS 43. But look at that stability on the Soros DIS 30, uh, 43. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. I see Firefly and Triple Crap. So we got Triple Crap. We got Quick Draw, Casket Mag, Firefly, and Eye of the Storm. All right, this one's not bad. Quick Draw, Casket Mag. Mm, not really feeling the middle part right there. Uh, optics range highlights enemy targets. I do like ever since I got that DIS. I do like those uh, the sites that let you that highlights enemy targets. A little, oh, hold on, I'm back at the hand cannon again. <laughs> let me skip through this. All right, next I see Firefly, uh, replenish. Oh, that's kind of a buzzkill. Snapshot, hand laid stock. Whoa, hand laid stock. Whoa, look at that max stability. Hmm, Firefly max stability. What about our sites here? Improves weapon handling. Uh, CQU optics improved target acquisition. A little more aim assist there. There's optics and range. All right, I'm kind of digging this one because of the fact that you get Firefly and hand laid stock, which means this thing will be a laser beam. Why does anyone say that? Are lasers really that accurate? I don't know. That's a stupid joke. All right, last one here. I see Firefly again, and we got life support. Kills with this weapon when critically wounded have a chance to st uh, start gener regenerating health. Extended mag, casket mag, Firefly. Well. 
If you want to wait for a better roll, I myself am going to pick up this middle one here just because of the fact that it's got max stability, hand laid stock. Yeah, hand laid stock. Planish is kind of, I'm not really feeling that so much, but I am going to get that one right there. But let me know in the comment section if you've gotten a better one. Uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? Let's move on to the next packages. Okay, we are on my Warlock, and real quick, guys, I leveled up that Armenius, and here's a comparison to the Doctrine of Passing with Counterbalance, okay? You can see just a tiny bit more stability, a little bit more range, and a little faster reload, but it really is negligible, guys. Get that Armenius D with Spray and Play and Crowd Control. I think you won't regret it, especially in PvP, and I will stay away from you in the Crucible, okay? Ooh, look at that sight, too. I like that. All right, I'm definitely going to be taking that thing into the Crucible. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> he's got a shotgun, and he's got the Uzume sniper again. All right, Strongbow. We got Void, uh, Arkansas, all flavors here. What do we got? Crowd Control, Battle Runner, uh, Single Point Sling, Fitted Stock, and Rifle Barrel. All right, so that's the only one. I like Crowd Control, I like Battle Runner, and I do like Rifle Barrel. Let's see. I don't really use shotguns anymore except for PvE. Uh, close and or personal short period of 20% bonus melee damage after landing a hit with this weapon Where did they come up with these perks from feeding frenzy? That's a pretty good perk kills this weapon increase the reload speed for a short time I like that lightweight perfect balance and okay So I pass on the middle one because nothing for range because on shotguns you want as much range and impact as possible army of one I like that feeding frenzy lightweight fitted stock and rifle barrel army of one Feeding frenzy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this last one, you know I like Army 1, I like Feeding Frenzy, and I like Rifle Barrel. And Accurate Ballista just a tad more impact. Yeah, we're going to go with that last one right there. All right, now for the Uzume, eh, I don't like really any of his snipers. Even when I got the Irene guys, I still just use my Thousand Yard on my Wailerins. So let's just burn through this real quick. Uh, I cut up around. Reinforced Barrel, Eye of the Storm, Unflinching. What do we got here? Yapaki? <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, not feeling that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to burn through these. You guys let me know in the comment section. Would you buy any of these? Do you like the Uzume RR4? Uh, performance bonus, high caliber, rifle barrel, life support, and mulligan. So my problem with the arms day type of uh, snipers is that they don't have any of the sights I'm just so used to. You know, like sh short gaze, ambush, taxis, whatever you want to call it. And flinching, eye of storm, injection. All right. Would you buy any of these guys? I'm probably going to pass on this thing. Or I might just buy one of them and just use it for legendary marks. All right. Let's check. One more character. Two more packages. Okay, yeah, so on my Titan, I still have those two rocket launchers left over from two weeks ago. Hope he brings home my proximity. Oh, and he's got proximity. So let's go and see and check out the perks and compare it to my Tamarind because that's my go-to rocket launcher for PvP. So let's see. Uh, we got whoa, whoa, Warhead Veneers. I like that. Uh, heavy payload. Increase that blast radius. Flared Magwell. All right, grenades and horseshoes. We want proximity. Perfect balance and snapshot. Uh, I, want, I was hoping it would have Javelin on it. You know, let me know in the comment section what you guys would want. See, on my Tamarind, let me pull it open real quick here. Tamarind, let's look at the perks I got. So I got uh, I got a hard launch. I didn't get Warhead Veneer. No, I did. Stupid me. I have Warhead Veneers on mine. Uh, but it's got Field Scout and Grenades and Horseshoes. And it does have Javelin on it, but I'd rather take the extra rocket. This thing's its velocity is really good. I mean, I could boost it a little more, but for PvP, I'm finding, you know what, that extra rocket, I don't notice that much of a difference between this this and my old Tomorrow's Answer. So, guys, let me know in the <clears throat> excuse me. Let me know in the comment section, would you pick this one? I think I might wait until he's bring he brings one with Javelin. Increase that. Because that is a pretty big velocity um, difference in there. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that, guys. All right, and the GLB 47. Uh, nope, nothing with proximity, so we're going to pass on all those. So. All right, we'll take a quick look at next week. we got Tesoro's DIS 47. Not sure what kind of scout rifle it is. Remember, the DIS 43. That's the one you want to buy every time if it comes again because that freaking perfect balance full auto, can't live without it. Uh, Herja D, that's a pretty good pulse rifle. I've got some good... I, th I think I got two of those in my vault, actually. Uh, GLB 42, 47. All right, so that <laughs> he's bringing next week what I have on me. And I'm not going to try to pronounce it. That's a Haka sniper rifle. Huh? I don't like any of the Haka sniper rifles. I just, you know what it is, guys? I'm just so used to it. If it doesn't have ambush, if it doesn't have short gaze, if it doesn't have taxes, long view, whatever, all those scopes, I just get weirded out by it. So, anyway, that's it, guys. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on so Twitter. I'm Ace Check out my stream, which is on Twitch. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.